title of this writing is The Ultimate Feeling. What's the ultimate feeling? I submit that the ultimate feeling is being loved. For me, there's no comparison to the feeling of being loved. It's in a class all by itself. You can take all the other feelings combined and they can't even come close to the feeling of being loved. Watch even wizened, hardcore, stone-faced people melt when a cute little cuddly puppy nuzzles with them. What are they feeling? Being loved. There is a therapeutic effect of the feeling of being loved. There's a measurable warmth that comes over you. And I'm only guessing here, but I suspect those feelings are laden with oxytocin, which has been labeled the bonding hormone. I'm also guessing here that there have been times when you felt unloved. Me too. What to do? May not always be possible to go down to the puppy palace and pretend you're going to buy a dog and just play with several until you feel the warmth. Instead, notice there's a part of you that loves you 24-7. You can tap into your own reservoir of self-love even when the puppy is asleep. It's a two-step process for most. One, take it on faith that there's a part of you that loves you no matter what. Two, tap into it just by noticing it. When you notice your ability to generate feeling loved, you stop your nobody loves me dead in its tracks and bask in the feelings of being loved. There is a part of you that has your back. It loves you. What a great feeling that is. It's nice to know that feeling is available even when no one else is around. If you're inside your head convincing yourself that no one loves you, take an inventory of your body and find that wellspring of warmth and stay there until you have all the puppy slobber you can handle. All the best, John.